everybody, my name is Selena. Right now, I want to try Goyang's most famous classy beef noodles. Mmm, very good. In one bowl of noodles, there are already three different kinds of meat, and they taste very good. I'm going to explore beautiful Goyang. In recent years, Goyang, the capital of China's province Guizhou, has attracted an increasing number of tourists. The locals like to use the word shuang to describe Goyang. Shuang we can translate to cool because the average temperature in Goyang during summer is around 22.3 degrees. The word can also be used when describing the tasty food, gorgeous views and fun lifestyle in the city, both for tourists and locals. I'm pretty full now, so I would say let's go! Goyang is not only a very beautiful city, but also home to many ethnic minorities. For example, the Niao, Dong, Tujia, and many more. They all have a super fascinating culture and the most beautiful traditional clothing. Right now, I'm in Huaxi Gaohua, which is a small village where a lot of Niao people live. Can you hear this? I think they have a performance over there. Let's go have a look. <laughs> the clothes of the Miao Zhu are so beautiful. And they even showed me how to dance, or I danced with them a little bit. It was so much fun. I think we have a very very good clothes. 我看到有一些特别的颜色跟其他的小居民族不太一样 we are not far from the city, but it, it has a totally different feeling. Not the busy city life, but more relaxed and very close to nature. I totally love that. Our next stop is going to be Yalong Valley. It's a very mysterious place. From what I've heard, it's going to be amazing. The Yalong Valley is located in this fascinating karst landscape. An artist spent 20 years to create a stone art. He used stones, wood, tiles, even pots. I've heard that this art is based on a legend about the Yelang Valley. And it's a great place to learn more about the local folk culture. Hello, <laughs> after experiencing the Miao ethnic culture and enjoying the mysterious atmosphere in Yelangu Valley, I now came to an ancient town called Xingyan. This town has a history of more than 600 years and is one of Goyang's must-see attractions. Here you can taste the local Qian cuisine and learn more about the local culture. In the evening, the whole town is lit up by Chinese lanterns and there will be many performances. You can also see a lot of tourists wearing hanfu, which are the traditional Chinese dresses. I'm excited for that, I would say let's go prepare! Today I had the chance to dress up in a beautiful hanfu dress as well. When walking through the ancient town, I felt like a lady from the Ming Dynasty 600 years ago. Xiao He, one of the tourist guides in Qingyan, invited me to explore the town with her. There is a big opening ceremony happening to welcome the tourists. The atmosphere there is amazing, a great way to start one's visit. <laughs> Si 
一抹银军，洗耳三千烦恼。请诸位随我一步前行，看绝世之地，寻极世之宝。In the evening, the town is even prettier than by day. Many beautiful lanterns are decorating the houses and streets, and performances introducing the traditional Chinese culture are taking place. All this makes an evening visit of the ancient town so special. Visitors can experience the life during Ming Dynasty in a way they never did before. Visiting Jingyan is definitely worth it. I wish I could stay longer. After visiting the romantic ancient town, we now have a date with nature, which is why we came here to CRSC Hongyan Xugu Camping Base. It is a campsite that is loved by Generation Z because here you can just relax and enjoy the nature. We take a walk by the river, have picnic, chat with friends. It's a great place to enjoy the weekend. Hello. 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 你们都经常来这玩是吧？我们贵阳的年轻人生活在这是特别幸福的。贵州的山很多嘛，我们就会经常的好友约到一起啊，比如说早上去登顶看一个云海，看日出，然后中午啊、下午就到营地这样的一个地方来休闲一下，喝喝茶、遛遛狗。晚上的时候，我们又可以回到我们的高山上面，露营在星空之下，那种感觉是特别壮观、特别幸福。Huaxi has an amazing tourism highway with a full length of 25.13 kilometers. It offers more than 20 tourist projects, such as mountain sports, low altitude flying, extreme sports, and beautiful little guest houses. Not only that, in future here we'll be built a life care center. It's still under construction, but I saw some miniature models and those looked great. I'm sure this will improve the life of the local citizens a lot. Guiyang, with its marvelous mountains and rivers, colorful ethnic culture and warm and hospitable people, has been upgrading its tourism industry by cultivating new business models and new entertainment events. During my time here, I had lots of fun in nature, ate lots of delicious food and learned about the fascinating traditional local culture. I hope you can come here too and enjoy your time in Guiyang. Shuangshuang Guiyang, 等你来着。